Okie dokie, welcome to the Bears Gym today. For a little Monday morning Bible and bodybuilding. We're going to do a little uh, intermediate warm ups and uh, just have a little fun, read a little Bible. Enjoy the beginning of the week. And uh, as always, we're going to start out today with just a little scripture. We have our usual mascot here, Canute. Yeah, this is Canute. Can you say hello, Canute? Can you say hello? Yeah. And he's probably going to pester us quite a bit. Well, here we go. We got our little scripture. It's in Mark chapter 4. Jesus answered them, the secret of the kingdom of God has been granted to you. But to those who are outside, everything comes in parables. So that they may look and look, yet not perceive. They may listen and listen, yet not understand. Otherwise, they might turn back and be forgiven. It seems like almost an oxymoron from... Everybody, everybody's going to get saved and, and uh, let's all be friends. And Actually, the church is a very small cluster of followers and people that love Jesus Christ because it's, it's to the bitter end, you know. It's until uh, we see him face to face. Uh, it's, it's not about establishing yourself here on earth. It's about establishing yourself in Christ forevermore. And being bonded with your creator, the Son of God, Jesus. And until you come to that point of repentance, turning from sin, and putting your faith in Jesus Christ, there's like blinders over your eyes. There's like a big hat over your eyes, spiritually. And you can't, you can't really see or spiritually discern things. Lies sound like the truth to you. The truth sounds like a lie. But where do we base our truth from? The Bible, the Word of God. Not from the media, not from the institutions, but from the Word of God. Anyway, that's our uh, little mini Bible Bible bear verse for today. And uh, so we're going to get a little, little workout in where we did our uh, outside warm-ups. And we go to our intermediate warm-ups. And, and powerlifting days, we go do our intermediate warm-ups and then we just we go right into heavy. I seriously doubt time will allow us that today. Um, and we are in summer mode, so we're more in the, into the bodybuilding uh, avenue. Once it starts getting cold, just I don't know about you, but bears, that's kind of when we kind of shift off into uh, power lifting and uh, super lifting. Okay, um, with that, let's get some... Start out with some dumbbells, some Olympic bench, you know, that kind of thing. So here we go. Just hang tight there. All right. Nothing fancy, just some curls here. Put some bench in here, some dumbbells, here we go. More lat pulls. Once again, as I said, we're already out of warm-up mode, so warm-up mode being from 12 to 21, we're now in the, I don't know, 5 to 8 reps, 5 to 10, 
And once we start going heavy, then we're gonna start going down to, you know, five tops, three to five, you know, three to five reps. Okay, some military presses here. these babies. And where we're reading in Mark, the reason that Jesus even brought this up Jesus had told a parable. He told it to the crowds, and they went off scratching their heads. The disciples were kind of scratching their heads too. For those that are close to Jesus, he explains it. And here's the explanation. He told the crowds and the disciples the parable of the sower. Jesus said to them, Do you not understand the parable? How will you understand all the miraculous parables I tell you? These are ones along the path. When the word is sown amongst them, they hear immediately. Satan comes and takes away the word from their hearts. Have I had that happen to me? Had probably had that happen to you? Not only in my own life, as a very young, young man, hearing the word of God, distractions from friends come and say, hey, come on, let's go, hey, come on, hey, come on, you know. And then the flip side also, too, of you as you're sharing the love of Jesus Christ, somebody comes and distracts that person who's right on the verge, and, and they hear it to some extent, but then they, they wander off. Satan comes and takes away the word that was sown in them. That's what Satan does. He steals, kills, destroys. He's a thief. He's a liar. And if you worship him and his demonic idols and his pseudo-religions out there, that's your business. It's a choice. And he does what makes a man a man and a woman a woman. It's the choices you make. But if you choose falsely, wrongly, then you will suffer eternity because of that. If you choose rightly, which is the only true religion, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, the Son, then he will lead you to the Father. Everything else is a lie. You can't go through the back door to Jesus. You can't go through his mother. You can't go through Buddhas and Islamabubs and Shintus and Hindus and all that trash. There is no back door. There's only one door, and the door is the Son of God. And with that being said, we're going to grab some more dumbbells and, and keep right in it. Yeah, we're going to get another set of dumbbells, and then we're going to add the Olympics in here. Just a little intermediate. This is this is like stage two into a real workout. First workout was uh, super giant sets outside with uh, dumbbells on an incline. Now we move into the flat bench and we, we up just a little bit and lower our reps just slightly. And so this is stage two, stage three is then when we're going to go heavier, which might be just a little bit heavier, or once it gets cold out and getting super heavy. Okay, here we go.
bench. And as you can see, you can do any of this from your gym in your own home and your bear's gym, like I have out in our, I don't know if you call it a garage, you don't never park vehicles in here, but the garage is kind of the bear's Bible study, bodybuilding gym, hall of discipline. Though so we sometimes work on vehicles in here, we kind of pull their front end in here do some work if we're getting snowed on or rained on. Okay. So we did curls. We did some bench. We did some lats. We're going to do a few uh, militaries. And we're going to rack these babies and we're going to shift over to some, some medium weight uh, Olympic, Olympic bar stuff. Kick back into this cute little parable here. Satan, the liar, a thief, murderer. He like runs the riots in the inner cities of America. I don't know about your city, but he gets all the poor misled people in the inner city to start smashing and burning and raping and murdering and kidnapping and destroying prop property and hurting innocent people that have nothing to do with what they're even writing about because every year is a new reason to riot, you know. Satan stirs that up. You know, they have their own little code words for their little political groups that suck your money from you to, to say, oh, poor people, they deserve to write. No, they don't. Writing is a capital punishment crime. And if the governors and the mayors of our states the cities would wise up to God as a God of order. People are rioting. You go down there and you start cutting them all down. Pretty soon you have no rioters. And if parents are, are foolish enough to bring their children out to a riot with them, well, they, they deserve the, the punishment of murder. They deserve capital punishment. They, they, they get cut down in a riot? Are you kidding me? Why would you bring, if you care about your kids, why would you bring your kids to a riot? I would never bring my kids to a riot. I would never be in a riot. And if my kids ever had gone to a riot when they were little, when they came home, I'd have given them a spanking. Christians have no business being riots and that kind of garbage. That's what Satan does. He riles people up for, for you know, this year is this cause. Last year was another cause. And the year before, and the year before, and the year before. Satan's behind all that. Don't, don't paint it pink and put a code word, you know. Keep it real with the Lord. Right? Don't get stirred up with the paganism of society. Satan is behind all that stuff. What else is he into? Now again, the word is sown on rocky ground and they hear the word and immediately receive it with joy but they have no fruit in themselves 
and are short-lived. And when persecution becomes from the word and their faith, immediately they turn and walk away. Sometimes you hear a gospel message about turning from your sin to Jesus Christ, and you think, think your life is going to be happy here on earth. It is, because you're now going to be connected with God. But you know what? Satan is now going to be your adversary. People that are non-believers and the wicked, they're going to hate you. And when you least suspect it, they're going to come up behind you and, you know, try and stumble you, knife you. But you'll be close to your Creator, and one with God is the majority. So don't stumble when you turn, your friends turn on you when you become a Christian. <laughs> they say, hey, let's go to a riot. You say, no thanks. You, if you want to go down there and get cut down by the troops, that's your business, but as for me, I'll say the Lord. You can't, you can't join the Lord in riots. All oh, that's that's like that's an oxymoron. That's like saying you're a believer or a non-believer at the same time. You can't be. You're either all in with Jesus Christ or you're not. Anyway, that's enough chewing the flab, right? So let's do some, uh, just some a little lumpic. Benches here. Try and squeeze them in. Before we run out of time for before you're asleep on the couch or at your work chair or in your car watching this. Or even in your, in your little mini church. I don't want to lose you falling asleep while we should be working out. So alright, enough tuning in the flat. Alright, here we go. Nudie, I see you're gonna you wanna get right to the way today. You wanna to be part of the part of the plan. And I accept that. So Canuti is not gonna move, so we're gonna do the old roll. Roll away onto the bench here. Just takes a little balance and you know. But he's not moving. He likes it right where the fan is blowing on him. All right, Canuti. Canuti is not going to move for us today. Maybe he is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's going to come and help. You're going to come and help, are you? It's being distracted by a big, huggable, and lovable bear cub like this. It's worth it. It's worth it. Well, <laughs> are you going to cut Daddy's workout short? Are you? No. If you did, it'd be worth it. Everybody gets to see you. Yes. How huggable and lovable you are. Yes. 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 Okay, well, maybe that's our, our symbol to, to pull the plug, because I don't think our son is going to move, no? Oh. <laughs> Looks like Canuti has had enough Bible and bodybuilding for today. Okay, I'll let you win. I'll let you win. All right, he's got to get his belly scratched. Yeah. All right, so fathers, don't let your kids go to riots. Preachers, tell your congregation don't go to riots because if they get killed, they might wind up in hell because they don't belong there. Um, children, obey your parents. Everybody out there, including me, 
Read the Word of God every day. Open up your heart to the Lord. If you got sin there, confess it. Stop it. If you're in a bad relationship where sin's happening, stop the relationship. Make the phone call now. End it. Don't don't make big. Just end it. If you're into whiskey, booze, crack, marijuana, dope, all that trash, get out of it. Stop it. Done. Get on with Jesus Christ and enjoy him forever because it's an eternal relationship. Don't blow that relationship. It's the most important one of all. God bless you, friends. And we'll see you next time from the Bears, Jim. Okay. Bye-bye.